So I got sent this question today. You can pause to read it. Somebody asking how they can explain to people that they should trust doctors, the news, government regulations, and stuff like that, rather than social media, reels, conspiracy theories, and etc. They say they're aware that it's not perfect, like medical malpractice does happen, the government does skew things sometimes, etc. But still trying to get people to uh, trust more in that in those sources than in Facebook or social media sources. And the truth is you can't, which is why I don't bother trying. You can't convince somebody to trust something that they don't trust, especially if they've got valid reasons not to trust it. Y'all don't see me get on here and tell y'all to trust anything or even trust me, and I'm pretty fucking smart. I tell you to think critically and use wisdom and discernment. I wouldn't teach somebody to just trust doctors, but if somebody's got a medical PhD, that means they've spent significantly more time learning about medicine than the average person has. Years of their life dedicated to this study. Both practical and theoretical study, they've got significantly more experience and knowledge in this field. That doesn't mean they'll always be right. That's why you get second opinions and third opinions. That just means that they've got access to more knowledge on the subject. Which means if it's not some shit that you are versed in, if it's not your field of expertise, then you should probably, it would be wiser for you to lean on people who that is their expertise. Not just blindly trust them. Jordan Peterson's got a PhD and he says dumb shit all the time. If you don't fully understand what evolution is and you show me a meme that says, so we was monkeys and so I show you a video by an evolutionary biologist explaining what evolution is, it would be wiser, It would be you would be using better discernment if you were to listen to the person who this is what they dedicate their life towards. Like I said, not trust blindly, find multiple sources that corroborate whatever you're being told, but lean on because they've got more experience and access to more information on the subject. Does that make sense? When I get links or memes or whatever, when somebody sends me something with information about any event that's happened, any going-ons in the world, any uh, trivia, anything, I immediately go and check other sources to see if other people can corroborate what I'm being told. I don't ever just blindly trust what somebody, somebody sends me. I've got a smartphone. I've got access to the culmination of humanity's knowledge in my phone. I could just go look myself. When it comes to news, critical thinking would require you to verify the information that you're receiving so that you know if you're working with accurate information or not. And being able to look shit up on your phone is great. I do that all the time, but I'm also aware that that's not a replacement for experience or education. I can look up how to build a house all day. It's not going to make me a carpenter and I can look up preventative medicine all night. It's not going to make me a doctor. So I lean to people who know more about those topics, even while I verify their information. In the military, we just say trust but verify, but it's the same kind of concept. In the government, I don't trust the government for shit. The Supreme Court just authorized the execution of a man who was not proven to be guilty. Marcellus Williams, who'd been convicted of murder, was just executed despite overwhelming reasonable doubt that he was ever involved in the crime at all. Now, they like to tell us that we're innocent until proven guilty, but clearly that wasn't the case with this. So I don't trust shit the government says about anything, because they just be lying. However, everyone's got their own personal biases, and that shouldn't prevent you from using wisdom in your decision making. So I understand, for example, people not wanting to get vaccinated, especially if the government's the one telling you that you should be getting vaccinated. But I also know that if you opted to not let your kid get vaccinated, and then they die of polio then you made a poor decision. You made an unwise choice, right? So to answer your question, I don't try to convince people to trust the medical professionals, to trust the news, to trust the government. I don't tell people to trust those things. I tell people to think critically and use wisdom. That's what I do. That's what I do on this channel often. That's what I do in real life. I, I try to show people how to think critically. So when they come across a Facebook meme, a reel, some social media bullshit source, do they think critically on that? Do they verify? Do they look the shit up first before they send it to you to make sure that they are sending you accurate information? If the answer is no to any of those, that's where I go. I don't bother just trying to convince people to trust whatever. I hope that makes sense. I will see you guys in the next video.